سميلات والزملاء الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك على الجميع وكل عام وأنتم بألف خير عاده الله عليكم وعلينا بالخير والبركة وعدا عنكم وعن حوائلكم كل سوء My session now is regarding orthodontic treatment of adults which is really I consider it one of the most interesting subjects that we may face in our orthodontic clinic especially uh, there, there is a routine question asked, asked by patients, can I do treatment if my age is 20, 30, 40, 50 years or uh, older or less than this age? So I try my best to answer this question. In general, orthodontists consider adults as those whose growth is essentially completed However, the mean cutoff age of for females is 18 years, while for males is 20 or 21, which is slightly later. Adult orthodontic patients can be subdivided into a younger adults, typically younger than 35 years, and often in their uh, 20 years of age, and usually they desired but did not receive comprehensive orthodontic treatment at youth. They usually seek the maximum improvement that is possible as they become financially independent as in this case uh, of uh, a female of 28 years of age uh, complaining of procrastination of apparent ear teeth and the same, at the same time uh, she has a deep overbite and uh, I started to intrude the upper anterior teeth, upper and lower anterior teeth so that I can retract the upper anterior teeth uh, backward and improve her aesthetic. Usually for the young adult orthodontic patient, the, co the goal of a treatment in this group is to improve their quality of life. They may or may not need extensive treatment by other dental specialists, but frequently need interdisciplinary consultations. An example of that, in this case, uh, 32 years of age females attended to my orthodontic clinic uh, she, her chief complaint was uh, midline diastema but at the same time she didn't notice that uh, she had big lateral teeth and spacing in the lower uh, arch so I tried my best to uh, close the midline diastema and provide enough space for uh, restoration of the big laterals in the future and this, at the same time uh, closer, closure of the spacing in the lower incisors. Another adult orthodontic pa patients group is the, an older group typically in their 14 or 15 years of age they usually seek to maintain what they have not necessary to achieve ideal orthodontic results. The treatment needed to meet specific goals that could make control of dental disease and restoration of missing teeth easier. And here the orthodontics is an objective to achieve larger periodontal and restorative goals. As you see in this uh, slides, uh, this is a 52 years age females attended to my orthodontic clinic. She complained of uh, trauma from occlusion, procrastination of upper and lower anterior teeth, and midline diastema and spacing the lower incisors and she asked me to uh, do what, whatever I can to improve uh, her aesthetics so I started my treatment uh, to collect the spaces and get rid of trauma of occlusion and uh, finally I do restoration by conservative uh, treatments The types of orthodontic treatment for adults either comprehensive or adjunctive. There are some points that should be considered during comprehensive orthodontic treatment of adults. That the comprehensive orthodontic for adults is the same as for adolescents that require either complete fixed orthodontic appliance or clear aligner therapy. And sometimes intrusion of the, of the teeth is likely to be needed 
as uh, usually done in adolescent. An example of what I talk about uh, this case attended to my orthodontic uh, clinic, uh, her age about uh, 33 years and uh, complaining of collapse of upper and lower arches and uh, crowding of uh, upper and lower anterior teeth with anterior open bite. Uh, I recommend the use of demon system as you see uh, placement of the fixed appliance from 7 to 7 so I include all the teeth as I said and uh, I think the demo system here can give me the maximum uh, improvement of hair aesthetics because uh, as you know the demo system uh, try to expand the upper and lower arch in very nice manner to improve hair aesthetics. Well, in the comprehensive uh, treatment, the orthognathic surgery may be considered to improve the jaw relations and the most important thing that the duration of the treatment from braces on to braces off exceed one year. Most of uh, adults receiving comprehensive treatments are main candidates for aesthetically enhanced appliances as in this case when she came to my clinic she insists on uh, doing orthodontic treatment by using the uh, aesthetically enhanced appliance otherwise she can't withstand uh, other type of appliance. The comprehensive uh, treatment tends to be difficult and technically demanding and the absence of growth means that the growth modification is not possible. During comprehensive orthodontic treatment for adults, the only possibilities are tooth movement for camouflage or orthognathic surgery because as you know, growth modification cannot be applied uh, at this age because of seizing of growth uh, at this period. Example of that, that this case, uh, patient uh, female of 32 years of age uh, attended to my orthodontic clinic uh, complaining of collapse of upper and lower uh, arches and she asked me to help her to improve her aesthetics and I recommend for her the use of uh, demon systems as it causes expansion or very nice expansion of the arches and at the same time uh, I recommend from her to use permanent retainer for a long period of time to prevent relapse of the case in the future. And the application of skeletal anchorage nowadays broadening the scope of orthodontics treatment. Some patients who would have required surgery even uh, a few years ago nowadays uh, can be treated by using a camouflage uh, treatment only uh, because of the invention of TADS. As you see in this case, uh, she complained of procline uh, apparent teeth in addition to. Uh, deep over bite, so I place a task to intrude the upper anterior teeth, then I track them to improve the aesthetic of the patients. For the adjunctive orthodontic treatment, usually it's carried out to facilitate other dental procedures necessary to control disease, restore function, and or enhance appearance. There are some rules regarding the adjunctive orthodontic treatment. First, it involves only part of dentition. Uh, as in this case, uh, she came to my uh, orthodontic clinic, her age uh, about 52 years, and uh, she asked me to uh, prove her aesthetics, and I started my orthodontic treatment and placing the brackets only on part of dentition. And that the primary goal usually is to make it easier or more effective to replace missing or damaged teeth. As in this case, uh, a female of uh, 50 years of age, uh, she complained of crowding in the lower uh, anterior teeth and I start my treatment to retract the canines using TADS and at the same time uh, decrease the amount of spine present posteriorly to make the restoration 
and the posterity is more easy. The third rule in the adjunctive orthodontic treatment that the treatment duration tend to be few months, rarely more than one year. And because of most of uh, patients uh, here in this group uh, are older adult uh, patients, so they prefer to shorten the treatment period as much as possible. An example of that, uh, this case is seen here, uh, uh, a female of 45 years of age attending to my orthodontic clinic, and she complained of midline diastema and uh, extrusion of uh, right and uh, right central and lateral incisor. So she asked me to improve her aesthetic as much as possible and with less period of treatment. As you see, the case complicated by the presence of uh, implants and permanent restorations uh, in both upper and lower arch. So this make uh, really the make, make the treatment more difficult. I tried my best to uh, prove the aesthetic of this lady by using the tads on one side. So I start to intrude and at the same time uh, start to protrude the upper incisors and uh, in the in the right side and I reach to the final results and the period of time talks about uh, eight months only and uh, she felt very happy about the result. However, the long-term retention of it is supplied by the restorations, as in this case, which is really the most difficult case I treated uh, in my life. Uh, her age is 60, 61 years, and she complained of uh, poor aesthetics, and really she said that, uh, please help me to smile as normal uh, people, because I can't smile and I, I can't talk uh, normally. So I started my treatment uh, with placement of TADS and uh, trying to intrude and at the same time collect the spaces and retract the teeth, uh, upper and lower teeth posteriorly. And then finally, I uh, do restoration uh, for the, the teeth so that to improve the aesthetic and at the same time to retain the teeth in their positions. One of the goals of adjunctive treatment is to facilitate restorative work by appropriate positioning of the teeth and also to improve the dental health by reducing areas that harbor plaque and make the control of oral hygiene is more easy. An example of that, uh, this uh, females of 52 years of age attended to my orthodontic clinic and her chief complaint uh, was the plaque triangle present uh, among the incisors. So I tried my best to overcome that uh, with a very short period of time by placement of uh, orthodontic appliance only in uh, part of dentition. I tried to uh, collect spaces and you see the end result that the uh, lower incisors all aligned without the Black, uh, without the presence of black triangles. Also, we can position the teeth so that the occlusal force are transmitted along the long axis of the teeth and uprighting of the abutment teeth. As in this case, if you see that uh, if you want to restore the teeth, uh, here we uh, need to uh, upright the laterals uh, so that the forces will be applied on the long axis of the tooth correctly. Also redistributions of or closure of spaces and uh, this is most important during uh, restoration of uh, missing teeth. Uh, this is example of this uh, case, uh, case came to my clinic uh, her age 25 years and uh, she lost her incisors by an accident and she want to restore the teeth uh, but really, when I examined the case, I found that the uh, space uh, presence is larger than the required one. And at the same time, I saw that the upper and lower incisors uh, are proclined. So I initiate my treatment to reduce the space presence and retrocline the upper and lower 
incisors so that I can uh, get maximum improvement of hair aesthetics. One of the main problems that I faced during treatment of this uh, case that the patient recommended for me to restore the space present by temporary restorations because uh, it is very difficult for her as young adult uh, females to stay uh, with empty space so I tried my best to use uh, these uh, teeth and fix them to the uh, orthodontic arch wire uh, so that uh, I improve her aesthetic during orthodontic course and uh, at the same time encourage her to be fully cooperative with the orthodontic treatment. This is before and after. After finishing the treatment, you see the spaces will be less than before, and also I retrocline the teeth uh, properly so that I can get maximum improvements of the aesthetic of the patients. A very important note as a general guide in treatment of adults with periodontal involvement and bone loss. Usually the lower incisors that are excessively extruded are best treated by reduction of crown height. As you see, this is my case and uh, I need in, in some uh, steps of treatment to uh, intrude the, uh, or differentially intrude the lower uh, incisors, especially the lower uh, left central and uh, lateral incisor. So here I did a slight reduction in the crown height better than do intrusion and to, to save time. The first problem that we face during treatment of the adult patients is the lack of growth. Although the growth continues at a very slow rate throughout adulthood, this means that there is no scope for growth modification in adult patients. So really this is may reduce the uh, chance for uh, selecting alternatives of treatments. The second most common problem that we may face in treatment of adults that usually the adult patients are more likely to be suffering or have suffered from periodontal disease. However, we must put in our mind that the reduced periodontium is not a contraindication to orthodontic treatment and uh, it's vital that any active periodontal disease is treated and stabilized before orthodontic treatment can be begun. وبصراحة عندي حالات إن شاء الله أذكرها لكم مستقبلا اللي على هال يعني اللي على هذا المجال اللي إحنا نركز بها إنه ال starting the orthodontic treatment must be delayed until we can control the periodontal status of the case. One of the possible managements of the orthodontic patient with periodontal disease. that we must use lighter force due to reduced uh, periodontal support and at the same time we usually prefer to bone molars rather than bone them because as you expected the control of oral hygiene around uh, bonded molar is more easy, easy than the bonded molar. Third point is that the retention at the end of the treatment needs permanent retention and often in the form of bonded retainer. The third expected problem in treatment of adults is the missing or heavily restored teeth. First thing with regarding to tooth loss that may lead to drifting and or tilting of adjacent teeth or sometimes over eruption of opposing teeth into the space. And this really make our treatment, which is mostly, as we said, adjunctive treatment uh, that contain both of uh, uh, orthodontic and uh, maybe conservative treatment, make it more difficult. So here you must overcome this problem and try to, for example, to correct the inclination of teeth or redistribute spaces so that you can make a good restoration for the missing teeth. Also, the atrophy of the alveolar bone can occur usually, especially if the uh, teeth uh, were lost uh, uh, early age. So expected uh, to see necking of the alveolar ridge 
and this uh, make the tooth movement adjacent to this area uh, is more difficult. Regarding physiological factor affecting tooth movement in adults, there is a reduced tissue blood supply and decreased cell turnover in adults. That means that the initial tooth movement may be slower in adults and may be more painful. So lighter initial forces are therefore advisable to overcome that. Otherwise, uh, we may reach to uh, teeth mobility or uh, resorption of the roots or bone uh, loss. Regarding adult motivation and attitude toward treatments, adults have the potential to be excellent, well-motivated patients. And physiological factors that suggest that the treatment may take longer time than in children. However, this is not always the case. And usually the increased cooperation really may compensate for slower, slower initial tooth movements. بصراحة هذا الشيء الغريب اللي أنا لاحظت كثير من الحالات اللي عالجتها اللي هم الأدلس بيشنس فشفت عندهم احترام كبير جدا للمواعيد وكذلك الالتزام بالتعليمات اللي نمطيها بصراحة أكثر من الأعمار اللي هي الأدرسنت والينجر أدلس فذلك اللي لاحظته إنه بالرغم ما إحنا نتوقع إنه العلاج حيكون أطول مما في الأعمار اللي هي أقل منهم لكن لاحظت أن العلاج كان يمشي بشكل إكسلنت ومتعاونين جدا ورسبكت أبوينتمنت وتفاجأت أنه في بعض الكيسز اللي أنا كنت أتوقع أنه مثلا تأخذ فترة طويلة لاحظت أن العلاج وصلنا به في النتيجة جدا لطيفة وبسرعة غير متوقعة مو كانت السرعة هي أنه أنا سرعت في العلاج بقدر ما هو كان التزام المريض بالتعليمات وال يعني وقت الحضور لإداء جلسة التقويم وسأذكر لكم في المثال لطيف حاليا اللي هسه حتابعوه على كيس اللي أنا توقعت أنه العلاج يأخذ فترة طويلة لكن الحمد لله كانت النتائج لطيفة وسريعة First example to talk about regarding cooperation of patient that may compensate for the longer treatment period expected in the adults. Uh, this is my patient, uh, 52 years age, females, attended uh, first to my clinic uh, complaining of uh, what you see, and uh, the most important thing I Notice that uh, her periodontium is uh, very poor, so I sent her to my colleague periodontist to control her uh, periodontal problems. And after six months of treatment, she came again and started my orthodontic treatment. Uh, as you see, her complaints uh, are uh, midline diastema, proclination of upper and lower anterior teeth, and uh, trauma from occlusion and at the same time uh, spacing the lower uh, incisors. So I started my treatment with aesthetic appliance because uh, she is uh, uh, prefer uh, the, the aesthetic appliance. And at the same time, I started to uh, collect the spacing in the upper and lower teeth and uh, retrocline the incisors and uh, uh, control the median diastema and to get rid of uh, to get rid of uh, trauma from occlusion and when I reach to the uh, nice result I start to uh, fabricate uh, for her uh, uh, permanent restorations uh, to improve the aesthetic of the teeth and at the same time to retain the teeth uh, in their position so another case which is uh, her age uh, about 43 years and uh, she complained of uh, crossbite entirely and at the same time uh, she had postural class 3 and uh, as you see uh, she came with uh, bridges in the posterior teeth this makes the treatment really more difficult and tried my best to overcome these problems 
by doing expansion of the upper arch anteriorly and posteriorly to get rid of uh, crosswise and at the same time to overcome the trauma from occlusion and uh, I reached the final result as you see uh, really unexpected result and the treatment time uh, took about uh, 11 uh, months only uh, unexpectedly because uh, the patient was very cooperative and uh, respect the appointment and at the same time the treatment uh, continue in very well manner thank you for thank you and i hope to see you in the future